Okay, Mr. Rops. And Mr. Co. And we are multiplying surge today. So when we multiply surge, well, let's get an example here. Here's the first example. I'm going to take negative 2 square root 5, and I'm going to multiply that times 3 root 3. Okay. When we multiply surge, we take the number that's in front of the surge, and we multiply those two which gives me negative 6. And then I take the number inside the surge, and I multiply those inside the surge, which gives me the square root of 15. OK. I think it's worth remembering as well, with that top line, those, those brackets are, are there because you're multiplying two thirds together. Right. But really, it's just negative 2 times root 5 times 3 times root 3. Right. So that's why you can just change the order of that multiplication. Right, so I could have written it 3 times negative 2 times root 3 times root 5 if I wanted to. Yep. They're all, it's four numbers here are multiplied and I can multiply them together somehow. The order doesn't matter. Okay, because it's all multiplication. Right. Okay, let's try another example. Okay, so we're going to do the second example, B. We're going to use some fractions here. So I get 3 over 4 square root 3 times 8 over 5 square root 18. Okay, and so doing this, Mr. Cole, what do you think we should do first? Okay, so we're going to treat the fractions and the third separately, right? So let's, let's multiply the two fractions together. Okay, so if I'm going to multiply those fractions, let me rewrite it. So I'm going to go 3 over 4 times 8 over 5 times root 3 times root 18. We can rearrange it a little bit. Okay, so we can simplify these fractions a little bit before we multiply them. Right. I can simplify that 4 becomes a 1 and that 8 becomes a 2 because 8 over 4 is the same as 2 over 1. And so when I multiply it now I have 3 times 2 is 6 over the 5 times 1 is 5. Okay. Now I can multiply my surge together and 3 times 18 54. Okay, so now we need to know our, our list of our list of square numbers, don't we? All right. And if I think about this, I know my times table is at nine times six, and nine is on my on that list. So this is root nine times six, which will give me six root five, square root nine, square root six. And as you do more and more of these, you can often skip some of these steps. And so I now have 6 over 5 times 3 times root 6, which is 18 over 5 square root 6 as my answer. One, okay. one more example. Okay. So we have now square root 6, oh, 6 times parentheses 2 minus, let's say, 5 root 3. Okay, so in doing this, we have to remember some of our algebra properties. We have to distribute the root 6 into both of those. And so when I do that, 2 times 6, well, there's no root, and there's, there's a 1 in front of here, so that ends up being as just 2 root 6. I can't multiply the inside the root. When I do the second bit, I get negative 5 times the square root of 6 times 3 is 18. Which, I have to ask myself, can I simplify root 18? The answer is yes, that yeah. becomes 9 goes into that one. 9 and 2. 9 from that special list that we love so much. 2 root 6 minus 5 times 3 root 2, which is 2 root 6 minus 15 square root 2. And that is our final answer. Okay.